lined. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Lindy. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good. I'm so glad you're all here because I want to have a very honest conversation with you. So good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, I hear my dog outside my bedroom door. He's so cute. He's like, why is the door closed? Mom, mom, I'm out here. You don't know. Um, okay, so disappointment is interesting, right? Because we all feel disappointment probably 15 times a day. Disappointed the scale doesn't say what we wanted to say. Disappointed that we went to the store and forgot the one thing we actually needed. Uh, disappointed that, you know, our kid didn't study hard enough for their spelling test. Disappointment all around. Um, it's part of life. But there are certain disappointments where it literally feels soul crushing. Where you're, where you're like, uh, I actually feel like I cannot breathe. That's how I feel. And I realized yesterday that you can't prepare yourself for disappointment sometimes. Like there is no preparation for how badly disappointed you are going to feel in a situation. So when it comes, you feel like, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Um, yesterday, I posted a video that I filmed three weeks ago, maybe more, that Taylor worked really hard on to edit for you guys. I didn't have to post it. I didn't have to share it. It was a video of me getting Botox for the first time because my whole thing was, I want to try this. And I want to be honest with the women who watch Coffee Talk. I don't want them to think that suddenly a mother of three who works all the time and gets up early and all of those things uh, is suddenly looks more rested than they do. I want them to know that this is what I've done. But I want to, I want them to also be able to see the process in case they're curious about it. Because P.S., I was super curious about it. I was very curious about the process, the pain, the money. Like, I don't know, are they drilling in my forehead? Is it a little neat? I don't know, I was curious about it. And I thought, hey, there are a lot of women that watch Coffee Talk. I wonder if some of them might too be curious about Botox. So Taylor and I filmed it. I didn't take one penny for the video. They didn't offer me one penny for the video. There was no money exchange. It wasn't a commercial or an ad for um, for the Village Dermatology. The Village Dermatology just happens to be where my dermatologist is. That's why I said where I was because I wanted people to know that it was a real doctor in a real place, not like a... I didn't go uh, <clears throat> to like, a, I don't know, a dock in the box or something, right? So that's why I told you where I was. Anyway, there are plenty of things that I am going to do in my life that you are not going to agree with or you are not going to want to do in your life. But let me get back to the disappointment, okay? Because this is interesting for me. So Taylor and I make this video um, and I was so excited to post it for you guys because I thought some of these women really are curious about this. They want to see what the process is like, what it costs, what, you know, whatever, what is it used for? I have questions, but I don't know. Not everybody wants to go to their dermatologist to talk about Botox. So I thought I will answer whatever questions I can for you. Anyway. Um, some of the women that commented really, their comments were super unnecessary. 
right? First of all, we have spoken numerous times about how just flat out low and crappy it is to use a woman's children against her. I cannot stand, I'm not defending my choices, whoever just commented that. I am not defending my choices. I'm talking about disappointment and I will get there. I'm long-winded, what can I say? When you say to somebody, um, when you say to somebody, what would your children think? What are you teaching your children? Um, I, I'm offended. That offends me, okay? It offends me. So it's okay when I come on Coffee Talk to talk openly about my marriage, their father, ish, parenting issues, them, my mother-in-law, my mother, right? All of that is fine because it serves you. But the second I do something for myself that you disagree with, now you're worried about my children? Nah, girlfriend. Uh-uh. I see you. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself and don't shame me. Shame yourself. Shut off the computer. Go for a walk. Hit your knees. Say a prayer. Do something. But don't shame me. Nah. That's the first thing. The second thing is... um. I understand that certain people have issues with Botox because it's chemicals. I totally get it. I wasn't thrilled. It wasn't like I was like, yes, inject poison in my forehead. I'm so excited for poison. But I also get my hair colored and the chemical seeps into my scalp and I'm probably getting stupider by the second from the uh, highlights or something. I don't know. Um, I also used to rub scented lotions on my arms. I'm sure scented lotions have chemicals. All of these things, wait, by the way, no, 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 no. Guys, this is a conversation. This is a conversation, okay? Honestly, I, I don't see those women as trolls. I really don't. I see them as like, it, it is a test for me and I'm getting to it, here I go. I swear I'm long-winded, but just hang on, okay? <clears throat> Here's the thing. I had a very hard time turning 40. Some people did not. Some people don't. Um, some people turn 40 and feel like it is very exciting for them. They can't wait to turn 40. I was terrified. I don't know why. It was hard for me, and I started thinking about a lot of things. Mortality, my dad died after he turned 40. I just was, like, nervous about turning 40. I think I had, like, a little bit of, like, a midlife crisis. Real talk. I'm not kidding. I was, like, I don't know. I was freaked out about turning 40. Um, and I think Botox was part of that. I don't know that I'll do it again, although, by the way... I love how you guys are like, you look rested. Shit, I'll take rested. This 40-year-old will take rested. I like rested. I'm not mad. Now, let me get back to it. When I saw the comments, some of the comments, I felt like legit disappointed. Like, it was like so much disappointment. And I realized Old Jamie wanted to react, right? Old Jamie was like this. Oh, okay, that's how we're gonna do it. No problem, taking off my jewelry, right? <clears throat> and I realized that if you allow disappointment to get the best of you, it will change the direction of who and what you are trying to be. Because disappointment is the most, oh, what is like the word I'm trying to use? It's like heavy. It's such a heavy emotion, okay? It's such a, I'm not teaching, by the way, I'm not teaching my children anything because my children have no idea. My children are nine, eight, and six and don't ha go on social media and don't, know about what Botox is or anything like, my children have no idea. So I'm not teaching my children anything. My husband didn't even notice. 
So my children definitely didn't notice. Okay? So don't worry about what I'm teaching my children. I'm teaching my children that if they don't pick up their shit, I'm throwing it all in the garbage. That's what I'm teaching my children. Pick up your toys because anything I find on the floor is going in the garbage. How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. All right. So anyway, I realized that disappointment is the heaviest emotion if you allow yourself to, to carry it. Real talk. Like... I'm so interested to see how you guys deal with disappointment because when you want something, when you expect something, and everyone says, don't expect anything, don't expect anything, but come on, that's not real life. Don't expect anything. When I tell my husband to go get three things from the grocery store, I expect he's going to come back with those three things. When he comes back with... Everything but the three thing I three things I asked him for, I can't help but react. Okay? So everybody who says like don't expect, that's not real. That's not real. Um disappointment is like and I realize like Jamie, what are you uh expecting from from five hundred thousand women? Like you gotta know that there are gonna be some who disagree with you. And that's okay. I think I thought because I give my so freely of myself every single day that people would give me a pass. And the truth is, you don't have to give me a pass. You can call me out on anything you want to call me out on. I am here of service to you. And yes, I do it for free. But I made a, a what what's the word? Covenant? No. What's the word? What did God make with the Jews? Is it a covenant? Covenant? No. What is it? Yes, Marilyn, I read comments from live feeds all the time. I'm trying to think of what the word is, but I made a something, whatever that word is, with you guys, that I would show up every day and be giving and open and honest of myself to the best of my ability and allow you guys to have an open and honest dialogue with me. You don't have to like everything that I do. You really don't. I think there, that what, what I felt disappointment in was, um, y'all, please understand, I don't need you guys to always fill me with good comments. I am okay taking bad comments. Really, like I'm grown. I have thick skin. I'm working on my response. Every time somebody gives me a negative comment, it is my test. It's part of my journey. It is okay. I need to see it and respond in a way that, and walk the walk and talk the talk of what Coffee Talk is and who I want to be. Really listen to me. When somebody comments nasty to me, that is my test. It's part of my journey. Like I need to... I got to pass tests daily, folks. I got to pass tests daily. I have blessings through Coffee Talk that I could never dream of. And I don't need all good comments. Where is the growth in that? You're welcome to... Um, Y'all are welcome to challenge me. I would prefer that you don't shame me, but you can certainly challenge me. Somebody could have written a comment yesterday that said something like, um, I'm disappointed that you got Botox because I thought we were all in this aging game together. And that comment, I could have been like, okay, fair enough. I see you, whatever. No, Cassie, it's not over Botox. It's about... Taking the disappointment that comes in life and understanding that it is part of your test. It is part of your journey. It is how you react to that disappointment that matters. I told you, I'm long-winded. Y'all just have to bear with me. I'm sorry. I was trying to give you context and apparently I'm losing you. What I want to say is, when disappointment comes, understand that... 
It is part of your test. It is literally part of your journey. It is how you navigate around and past the disappointment that matters. Because we're all going to feel disappointment. Sometimes it is so crushing and it makes you feel like you can not breathe. Sometimes it turns to anger and it gets worse. Sometimes it turns to sadness and it changes the way you feel about people. That is the truth. Disappointment can go either way. So know that when you feel disappointment, know that it is real, know that so often it is justified, but it is how you keep going that matters. Because you're, never gonna, you're not going to get through life without disappointment. It's just not possible. So it's how you navigate that that matters. And understand that it is truly part of your journey. So when the disappointment comes and you feel like you want to you wanna turn the music on and get into that pity party for one, and I know that feeling, understand you can do it for a little while. Dance one or two songs in the pity party and then get out. Because disappointment is crucial to growth. Crucial. It is, think of it like vitamin D. It is a building block to you becoming the person you want to become. Okay? I swear to you. And even when I feel it in Coffee Talk, which is my most sacred, it is my life's work. It is more important to me than anything else I do. These little videos that we do together are more important than anything else I do. Even when I feel disappointment here, I understand the old Jamie wants to run, wants to fight or wants to run. The new Jamie is like, this is part of my journey. I got to jump this hurdle. Like I got to get this fat ass over this hurdle. And I do it. I don't always want to, but I do. Anyway, um, thank you for anybody who watched the Botox video. Like, I just wanted y'all to see what it was like. And does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Don't let anybody tell you it doesn't. It does. Um... I love you guys so much today. Um, I am headed to New Jersey tomorrow, and I was going to try to meet you guys somewhere, but Barnes & Noble at one of the malls was not very friendly. They were like, no, you can't do an event here. I guess I could drive the Barnes & Noble in Freehold. I didn't call that one. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I can try, but it's not looking too good. Um, but I do love you guys very much, and... Um, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.